now my bike is completely keyless so i don't need this anymore good bye ki okay so what is the use of a key in a bike first to unlock the handle and then to turn on the bike second to open the fuel lid and third to open the battery and electronics compartment so if i want to make my bike keyless then i have to operate all this mechanical thing digitally few ideas i am having in my mind i can use fingerprint sensor but i already did that in one of my video second i can use a camera to recognize my face but this won't be a safe idea if i use rfid still then i have to use a rfid card or a key after thinking a lot finally i decided to go with ble because it's password protected and automatically connects with registered device so without wasting any time i started to design a sample circuit to turn on the bike and ignite the engine remotely and to control the circuit i started to design an android app for secure auto connection i added this module's uuid in the app and changed the default password of this module after making the app i ran the first test the test circuit worked as expected but till now i couldn't be able to find any solution for the handle lock and few lead lock few days already passed and i become frustrated and i decided to make the main circuit first so i started designing it using altium designer altium is a industry standard pcb designing software where you can design any kind of pcbs you can even share your design using altium 365 plugin to your client if you want to give it a try for free then go to the link in the video description after designing the pcb i placed the order in pcb way it will take few days to arrive at that time i focused on handle lock and few lead lock as the lead lock works with original key so i don't want to damage it that's why i bought a similar part and tried to figure out how it can be hacked the lock is completely sealed and there are no way to trick the inside so i thought a simple solution i took a marker and drew a line then i cut the key in two pieces after that i designed a knob using fusion 360 and 3d printed it After permanently attaching it with the key, the fuel lid can be opened directly just by twisting the knob. So one problem is solved, but the handle lock. It literally took away my sleep. So I decided to go with plan B, which I will let you know little bit later. At that time, I got my PCB. Wow, the red color looks really awesome. PCB way offer multiple colors PCB and they don't charge any extra amount for that. and the pcb quality is excellent beside pcb manufacturing and pcb assembly they also offer cnc and 3d printing services if you need any of this service feel free to try out them after that i gathered all the components and started to solder After soldering all the components I attached a servo motor with it which will unlock the battery compartment when this button is pressed Now come to the plan B the solution of handle lock which will secure the bike in lock position a 120 dB siren and a accelerometer sensor which I soldered with existing circuit and updated the code Now in lock position if the system feels any motion then the siren will produce extremely loud noise So finally the circuit is done and to protect it I started to design a simple enclosure After finishing I gave it to print And when it is done I inserted the circuit in it and now it's time to fit the system into the bike but before that let's wash my bike After cleaning the bike, I opened the battery compartment and after removing the seat, all wiring are exposed. Then I have connected the ignition wire to turn on the bike, then self wire to start the engine, then indicator 
and finally I have connected the power wires with the battery. After connecting all the wires, I plugged in all the connectors with the circuit board. Everything is complete. Now let's check how it works. Right now I am around 30 meters away from my bike. It's showing disconnected. Now I am around 20 meters away. Now around 15 meters. And it's connected now. Instantly my bike's indicator blinked. The locate button will do the same thing again. And this function is very helpful to find your bike in crowded parking lot. After connecting with my phone, you can see my bike turned on without any key. By long pressing the stop button, I can turn it off. Or on again using the start button. And if I want, I can even start the engine by pressing the ignition key. If I go beyond the range, then my bike will be turned off automatically and it will be fallen into alert mode. And at this time, if someone touches my bike, then the siren will start making loud noise. I know many people are thinking, is it worth spending that much time just not only to carry the key? Well, you can't imagine how hassle free the system is until you use it. You don't have to do anything, just carry your phone and sit on the bike and go anywhere you want. And after reaching at the destination, just leave your bike and that's it. I will recommend everyone to make this project to experience the fun. I hope you have liked that video and if you liked it, please subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos like this. So that's it for now and I will see you on my next one. Until then, bye bye.